So today's project is getting rid of the heaters in the back of the bus. So uh, I've got a couple of them. One of them here, those hoses, comes across the floor, goes under the door, and across here, and into the dashboard. Ways we could approach this, um, sometimes you could do a loop around it uh, inside the engine compartment. Problem with that is I'm not exactly sure all the different, all the different hose routes there. And the other problem is that You've got these openings here in the firewall where the hoses come back through and even if I loop them here you know loop them inside the compartment here I still got this opening here that you know mice and stuff can get in so I might as well just sort of loop it there you don't really want to cap them because you need the coolant to flow through the entire system um, one to cool the engine and to use the other heat that works in the defrost in the regular cab so um, that's why we're gonna loop it but right, the first thing we do is uh, shut off the valves and right here, the buses are in different places, but oh, it's, I might need two hands with that one. Mm. And we got this one up there, gotta shut both of those off. Spray this one with a little bit of PB Blaster. That tends to work a little bit better. All right, a little bit of PB blaster and some channel grips, channel locks. There, get that one closed. All right, put the heater up on a little makeshift table here so it's elevated and it makes, just, it makes it easier to hold fluid and coolant into the hoses when I want to. And then I've got a wider bucket. I use this sort of Rubbermaid bin here rather than bucket just because it's got a wider mouth that I can drain the fluid in. So uh, I'm gonna disconnect. Uh, the clamp here and then drain uh, where the heater comes out and then I'll disconnect the other hose I'll keep the other hoses high I think I'm just gonna actually tuck them in this window right here and keep them up high and then once I get the heater drained I can run the hoses out the door here and then drain them there I always like using these uh, ratchet on these bike clamps rather than trying to mess around with screwdrivers move outside and I'll drop the hoses down from the window and drain them into our bin again. Everything's still corroded. I'm going to go back to the grinder to cut those clamps off. Really suggest making sure you wear safety glasses down here because all this metal flake rust is not really good for your eyes and you don't want it in there. Makes MRIs tough later when you get older. Don't ask me how I know that. So looking down there at that mess, I figure if I can get it unhooked up here, it might be just as easy. Uh, or a lot easier 
Um, so I'm gonna try to see if I can disconnect it up here anyway and I'll make that bottom assembly easy to drop out. I also got a heat gun. I'm thinking when I release those clamps, maybe if I heat up that hose, it'll slide off a lot easier. So let's give it a shot. Pull these through on the bottom. Oh, that one has a little bit of coolant in it. Tip it up there. So move the table over and uh, reset up to do the front heater. Uh, not the front front of the bus, but the front of the cabin part of the bus. Um, basically, repeat the process. I moved my bucket so I could drain everything there. I spilled a little bit on the floor in the process as one of the hose dropped, but for the most part, not too bad. I think we're in the process now. We're just gonna start cutting these hoses because they, they sure as heck don't want to come off easily. All right, continue to work by our way down line here. Um, Move the whole table to the front of the bus. Now I got the heat pump going on. We'll just kind of repeat the process. See what kind of we got the fluid in here. We got this. Uh, long line here that I think it's got some fluid in it so I'm gonna put my bucket out down the stairs and see if I can drain more fluid out of there before we begin the final step of this process. That short one's probably got a little bit of uh, fluid in it too but I'm not really sure. <laughs> Can't get much lower without cutting it so. Okay so we've got to the point where we want to make the loop. I'd really like to make the loop up under here, um, which I probably will eventually. Um, but it might be on the scope or tonight's project or this afternoon's project to get all this out and have it permanently in there. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these short, leave it hanging out a little bit, and then put my loop in there. And that way, I still again, I want to drive this bus on Thursday um, to have a mechanic look at it with me. So I think that's what we'll do. I had read that these were uh, one inch hoses. So we've got some one inch brass elbows, but they're way too small. So what I think I'll do is I'll pull this piece. Uh, I got this piece that we pulled out from under the bus and I'll just cut these off and make a loop here. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll take these down to the shop and uh, clean these up a little bit with some sandpaper and some degreaser so it makes it a lot easier to pull those off when I want to actually redo it. All right, so that looks a lot better. Kind of sanded them up, degreased them. And so now I'm gonna cut these down as close as I can to here. Um, put the pipe clamps on that we've uh, repurposed them around and, and put them on. I think that short one's gonna be messy. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna turn the uh, turn the valves back on in the engine compartment, and we'll start the bus and see if it uh, see if it leaks. Getting, getting dark out here. It's been a whole lot easier now that they've been. Lubricated. Oh 
All my bugs are gonna be going off because uh, all the doors are open. All right, we'll let it run for a while and come up to temperature. Um, make sure it doesn't overheat. Make sure we don't have any leaks. All right, seem to be in pretty good shape. I uh, get turned the valve kind of over here, right there, uh, which calls for heat to come through the system. And then I come over here, double check these. This is warm. I got uh, coolant flowing through there. See that? And no leaks. So, successful project. Again, like I said, I'd love to be able to get that inside there eventually, but uh, that means taking that whole console apart and that's beyond the project for tonight. So, there we go. That's how, uh, how I chain or got rid of those heater elements. So, uh, appreciate you watching. Hopefully that's really helpful. Uh, like and share if it is, and uh, we'll see you on the next project.